Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission, beloved. This is a solar return bonus reading for my beloved Scorpios. You know it's still our season, so I have to pay homage to my beloved. You already know love is love is love is love is love, especially of those of you who are returning. Thank you so much to any of you that may be tuning and tapping in for the first time. I go by the name of Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music into my readings. So the name of the songs, lyrics within the songs, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, it will correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as whatever the cards may be showing. And everything tends to just blend very beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if it doesn't apply let it fly by let it go let it flow never try to force anything to be your story know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your other placements and then check those readings that correlate to those signs my readings are also timeless so whenever this video popped up in your feed well that was divine timing beloved so without further ado we're going to just delve right in. Again, I send a special shout out to all of my beloved Scorpios. If you had a solar return that fell on yesterday, the the 12th, happy solar return on the 11th. If you hit that 11-11 portal, I had a couple of you all. Thank you. I just, I give infinite love and light to y'all. Um, to the 13th babies, today is your day. I mean, or the 14th babies, today is your day. All of you all, you know, happy solar return. I hope you are doing it real big, okay? Um, so much energy going on, beloveds. This is a Taurus full moon. That is our, you know, shadow energy, if you will. I mean, it's the opposite of us. So that's the yin and the, you know, the yin to our yang, yang to our yin, if you will. So this is an opportunity for us to, you know, kind of... Um, do some good grounding work, you know, do some real good internal work. Like this is a real type of energy that allows for you to kind of, you know, plant new seeds, you know, start working on new projects, start, you know, taking some classes, learning a new skill, um, honing a skill, whatever it is. Uh, it's this is the time for that. This is the the time of year. You know, winter is coming shortly thereafter. We're in fall. The winter time is hibernation time. That's when you're in, in in incubation status. So it's really about internal work in that whole um, period. You know, because the new year, which is an opportunity for you to blossom into the new you, is in spring when all of the most high's creations starts to blossom and come back to life so it's a very beautiful cycle it's cyclical it's like we have to plant the seeds and this is the timing so the just like any type of um crop you have to plant it at the right time so divine timing is of essence beloved um so without further ado we're going to go ahead do some house cleaning Gonna pay homage to the ancestors and the angels that give us the angles, uh, the spirit that could see around and spiral around those corners that we can't see. Gonna pay homage to that energy because we would not be who we are, what we are, or able to endure what we do if we did not have a spirit team, our ancestors, our beloved, you know, spiritual parents, if you will. So that spiritual realm has to be acknowledged just as much. So we're going to go ahead, proceed with the read, but let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I'll shake. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, 
Animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo, beautiful souls. So what time is it on the Klizak? So we have 428. That reduces to 5. 5 deals with the Hierophant. So studious energy, just like I said. Learning new skills. Honing new, you know... Honing your skills, gifts, and talents, building your wealth of knowledge, studying, going to class, going, you know, learning something new. That's what that five is about. It's a very studious energy. You, it's about tutelage, building um, some wealth of, of understanding in a particular area of, you know, interest. Uh, the five is also, you know, the number of the hierophant, which deals with the throat as well. The throat is all about expression. So you could be expressing yourself through some of these creative projects. You could be um, learning what your new passions are and honing those skills to become better, to improve. Uh, you could just be in a space where you are, you know, tapping into your creative gifts, birthing new ideas and new ways of thinking. Um, that five is also, you know, whether you uh, have some form of platform where you communicate or disseminate information, uh, I feel that that too can also be a factor. Maybe you, com you, you sing or you are um, an artist. There's some creative expression, artistic expression you could be in or just a learned you know, energy where you are building your wealth of knowledge, researching, investigating, where you are comparing notes, taking notes. Um, you could be traveling to certain destinations. They could, you know, gather information. There could be some sort of of, of investigative um, work being done behind the scenes even as well is what I'm getting. Five is communication. So maybe you're getting some communication after a background check or after some sort of investigation is going to come to uh, some sort of conclusion. You're going to get some news, um, you know, uh, whether by means of a phone call or maybe a letter in the mail, something is going to come in. Some form of communication is going to come through. Uh, with the five, I'm also getting a sense of like there being some certain challenges, like underlying challenges or some sort of stressors that could have um, exas exacerbated like a situation. So there could have been some, you know, verbal um, arguments, disagreements. Uh, maybe there's some some really competitive energy around you. I'm hearing jealous and envious type of energy. Uh, but I'm also getting a sense of like with the five, like there is this sense of, um, you know, where there is a lot of like, like outside noise or outside influence, if that makes any sense. So it's almost like someone has too many opinions or too many people um, is, is like, is, is, uh, Involved in a situation which is causing so much confusion. Uh, this it, it, there could be rumors and gossip, you know, just just nasty work, like just nasty energy. Um, and and I get a sense if this is what's been around you, uh, or if this is something you've been dealing with. I I just see you bolting your energy, like you're you're, you're bolting your way up out of there. You're not like in a mode where you feel like a victim, where you're feeling like, oh my God, I'm being attacked. You're just like in a, it's almost like perturbed, almost like, like just the audacity, <laughs> you know, like, do you not know, you know, who I miss? <laughs> so it's not even an energy where you're like really taking it seriously because it's like, you've seen this before a thousand times, you know how to deal with it. You get, you know, you ignore the ignorance. That's how you get rid of it. Like whatever you pay attention to, you give it energy. So you're not giving it any attention. You're starving that entity or that thing or that person, or that situation of your attention. So it is like, like 
thirsty. It's, it's, it's wiltering away because you refuse to give it your attention. <laughs> so it's like, you know, but you are really like, you're like moving on with, it's like a next, next. Like I just get a sense of like, you ready for the next chapter? You ready for the next, the next go round? Or you, you, you ready, you anticipating something new even. It's, it's good energy, you know, cause when I think of the five, like I said, that's the Hierophant, but that's also, you know, where you could be getting some advice. You know, you could be sitting at the feet of an elder. You could be, you know, speaking to a maternal or paternal figure in your family. Um, you could be getting some really good advice from a sage or from a spiritualist or from a practitioner or from someone that you may, you know, that you may trust. There is a level of like, um, like a mentee or a mentorship uh, where you look up to someone and you trust their advice. You trust that they would give you honest advice with, you know, with, with, with good intention, not trying to, you know, take you off your path or to influence you in any way. It's just really just wisdom. You know, it's, it's wise dome. Something that, uh, is, is it's like a rarity, right? You know, when you think of the ancestors, you know, the elders in the community, a lot of them, you know, are transitioning into the spirit realm. So when you have access to that type of knowledge, to that well of knowledge, like it, it is, it's very, it's something that should be cherished and valued. Um, it's something that shouldn't be taken for granted. You know, um, they have, done their jobs beyond measure. I mean, our our elders have fought civil rights. They fought for us to have the liberties we have. Like, we wouldn't be who we are. So now it's time for us to pass the torch. I just saw 11, 11, 11, 47. So that's about stability. So I do feel like things are becoming stable. Something had to be destroyed so it could be rebuilt. Because when you put that four and then, you know, the four, the 11, 11, which is four, I'm seeing like the, you know, that energy of um, just a, a, a very solid and sturdy connection because it takes four um, to make something stable. You got four limbs, you know, there are four wheels on a car. Like that's what keeps it stable, keeps it balanced. And so that's what I'm seeing is that there's some level of stability. Like there's an opportunity to regroup, um, to recenter oneself, um, and just, you know, get an opportunity to kind of reassess things. But the four also deals with the heart chakra as well and that divine masculine energy. So there could really be either a divine masculine, a father, a father figure, whether it's your Baba, your, you know, mother, the father to your child. Um, there is someone of skin significance. And when I see the heart chakra, I feel that there are feelings, emotions, um, some level of investment. Um, involved with whomever this masculine energy is. And as I said, the, the emperor is the authoritarian. He's the, he's the masculine, the, the divine masculine energy. He is the alpha. Uh, he goes after what he wants. He is definitely a leader. He commands respect and attention. He's abundant and prosperous and powerful. He's a, 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 a force to be reckoned with, but he also gets what he wants. So this could be an energy where you are in some sort of focused um, energy where you are working on something, whether this is you building up a business or starting to, you know, um, starting to move in the direction of, of, of setting up shop to put your work out there or to put your your products out there it's like there is something where i'm hearing entrepreneurialism like you're about to push the button and have a grand opening or there's going to be some some fresh start when it comes to uh, a spiritual career so um, i'm here i heard spiritual career so you could be someone that does tarot a channeler a psychic someone who is a spiritual practitioner um someone who may read um cowrie shells or someone who could read tea leaves or coffee cups you could be doing those type of readings or you could be reading someone's akashic records or maybe even their uh, um natal chart someone's providing some some level of um, so some wise dome, some you know information, affirmation, which is 
it's also attributing to um, this this almost this air of confidence. It's it's like giving you some sort of of assurance, you know, like it, it's confirming something even uh, that you may have known already and you just received maybe some confirmation that something is coming through. But whatever it is, we're gonna see. What the cards have to say, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. I never even told you what song was playing, but it is right now 4.38 on the clock. So that was quite the diatribe, but um, that's how I do. I like to you know, channel a message before the reading and then see what the cards have to say. And, and most times what I said before the reading, it will come out during the reading, uh, the, even on down to the cards that I... Uh, mention. So what we have playing, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my YouTube app and there it is. Okay, so I got my playlist, going to put it on mix. All right. Um, so it's playing Erica Badu Clever. All right. So what did I say just now? Like learning, you know, um, you become clever through experiences. You know, you become wiser through experiences. Your experiences builds character. So with this energy, someone's name could be Erica or Badu, first, middle, and last. Someone could also be a doula. Uh, someone could have had like a home birth or someone could be thinking about doing a home birth. Someone could be from Texas. Um, someone could also be dealing with a Pisces, you know, someone could be dealing with someone that's a Pisces, but 439, that's a seven and the seven is the chariot. So I do feel like there is some victory or some triumphant outcome because you outsmarted, uh, someone or you, you thought your you thought through a situation and you were able to make a wise decision because you're clever, you're wise. So that's what I was getting. Like you, you, you know how to navigate situations, things that perhaps people may be trying to trip you up with. It's like you see it a mile away. So it's like, it's, it's almost, you know, insulting. Um, but it's like, you're clever, you're, you're sharp, you're sharp witted. Um, you could see right through the nonsense. I'm even seeing like the queen of swords energy, just someone very witty, someone very, um, intelligent, um, someone who's quick on their toes, um, someone who just is, is, is just has a natural ability to, uh, communicate a great communicator, great orator uh, is what I'm, I'm getting a sense of, uh, someone that's just well-learned as well, well-experienced. And that m creates that sense of wise dome because you have the experiences to back you know, the, 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 the attribute, you know, so this is a beautiful energy. So let's tap and see what the cards have to say. Um, I always like to start off with my numerology deck with the numbers, numbers. So let's see what we have. Um, all right. On the bottom of the deck, we got the eight and it says manifestation. The eight deals with the strength card and that strength. So you've definitely gotten stronger in your ability to manifest. You've gotten sharper, perhaps. Uh, maybe your turnaround is quicker, but you know how to, you know, tap into your Christ consciousness, into your divine mind to manifest, to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, ether to manifest your desired outcome. You are clever. So you have been tried and tested. I feel that there's been perhaps some karmic lessons that you've learned from. And by learning from those lessons, you now have more emotional uh, fulfillment. You're satisfied. Things are working out in your favor. I feel life is moving in a more positive direction. I feel like you have a sense of balance. Um, there's also this energy of you really being in control of your subconscious thoughts, you know, facing your demons, confronting your demons, and now being able to stand in your authenticity, stand in your power. This is a very um, powerful energy because it's like you are half man, half amazing almost, you know, it's like, you know how to teeter between um both realities, if you will, in terms of your your spiritual self and your practical self. So this is really a beautiful energy, even of someone who is prioritizing themselves and showing self-love. Because self-love always makes you more attractive. So I get a sense of even like the Eight of Cups type of energy where you're walking away from situations that were not emotionally fulfilling or where you felt there was no reciprocity. And you were 
perhaps in most instances, emotionally bankrupt. So you're walking away and moving on into a more positive direction because now you're standing up for what you believe in or you're fighting for what you know you deserve and you're not settling moving forward. You know, so now that you know your worth, now that you know your value, you're not settling um, for anything less than that. So this is a beautiful energy of the reasons why, you know, you're wishes, your wish fulfillments are coming true, your prayers are being answered, blessings are, you know, coming into your stratosphere and atmosphere, into your orbit. This eight also is reminding me of like the wish fulfillment because the 17th card in traditional tarot is the star. So I do feel like whatever prayers, petitions, affirmations, daily mantras, whatever you were writing in your manifestation journals, whatever those, you know, gratitude prayers that you were speaking out into the ethers, you your ancestors, angels, universe, source heard you and they are blessing you with, you know, whatever it was you were praying for, hoping for and wishing for. So what we have right here is it says change and then it says tell me why. This is 1983. Um, Some of you could have been born in 1983 or someone that you're dealing with is uh, born in 1983. The 1983 breaks down to 12, which breaks down to 3. Um you know, because I'm just counting the one, eight, and three, because anything going into nine, as I said in previous videos, will always be that number. So altogether, that breaks down to um, 12, which breaks down to three. So three deals with the Empress energy. It deals with even just how you've you know, been on this journey to self-discovery and self-mastery is through pain. You know, um, the pain of having three swords stabbed in the heart. The three is also associated with that three of swords. Um, but learning from that, removing yourself from situations that caused you pain and, you know, protecting your energy and also learning how to you know, ask for what you desire, how to be in an energy where you trust your own intuition or you trust your own gumption when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your circumstances and you, you know, move with discernment. And that's what the three of wands is about, you know, planning, preparing and strategizing, um, sitting with, you know, your thoughts, contemplating, um, meditating to get things straight. That's what that energy is also showing. And this is how you, you know, begin that journey or how you begin traveling down or, you know, on the road to achieving, you know, the self mastery of becoming ordained that, that, that empress or the emperor. So we saw the, the, the emperor's energy come through and now we see this empress energy come through. And I just saw 444 and soon as I said that it turned to 445. So 444, four, four, your angels are around you. You are divinely protected. And I do feel spirit is saying there is a change. Not only is there a change, a brewing, a coming, but I feel spirit is also saying you've changed and you've changed for the better. And, you know, perhaps this is, um, you know, quite, um, you know, quite difficult for someone to accept, you know, because as I said, you are now in your own power and I'm going to scan this down a little bit. Yeah, you're now in your power. And so someone is feeling like, you know, almost left out left behind almost because you, you're focused when you are in an emperor an emperor or emperor status you don't have time for the nonsense <laughs> so you are you, you know your worth you know your value and you are not gonna just you know waste time on on um mindless foolishness so you've changed for the better you know how to like switch lanes with the quickness like you could bob and weave with the best of them and that's what i feel um someone is feeling is they're feeling um, a difference in you, like a difference in your response or how you're treating them. Something is very different about you. And it's a change that you've made to protect your energy also is what I'm getting. Because if you had a three of swords, um, you know, experience, um, that teaches you some tough lessons about boundaries and creating, you know, that wall of protection around yourself. And also not just be so quick to give people the benefit of the doubt to, you know, Teach people how to treat you, number one, but also, you know, never allow anyone to act too familiar. So the moment you see a red flag, you trust that, you know, take a mental Rolodex of that red flag. You don't just dismiss it because you just it's so in the moment and want to be liked. No, you take mental Rolodex, a, a mental, um, you know, check of, of that experience because that is 
those those little nudges that spirit your higher self are giving you so you learn you know by just taking the moment to reflect to look back in awareness okay this is where i you know went wrong that's the accountability that's how you are on or that's how you journey to this road of self mastery you know to the to the um to the road of um, self mastery is by you know going through those steps of you know being hurt and healing through the hurt, but also learning to take accountability, learning you know to be um, more mindful, um, taking onus when necessary, holding others accountable, standing your ground, setting up boundaries. Like there's so many different things that lead you to the level of self mastery, and the Empress, as we defy, d describe her, has all of the attributes and characteristics of all the queens. So she is a very very powerful energy, very maternal energy, nurturing energy, um, very loving energy, grounding energy. But she's also um, no pushover. She knows, you know, she knows who she are, what she what she is. She knows who she is and what she deserves. And um, she doesn't settle for less and she doesn't put up with no nonsense. So it's a no nonsense energy when that emperor and empress come in. But the two coming out, um, you know, just by the numbers that I saw. Uh, shows me that there is some sort of suit. There is some sort of um, spiritual connection, partnership, uh, some sort of um, maybe some sort of um, business partnership, maybe someone you will work together with on a project. Uh, maybe this is talking about a team effort, a union. Uh, this could even be, you know, like um, speaking to love ship you know the yang to your yin yin to your yang because we did see the 11 11 which i was breaking down for the four the divine masculine the emperor and the stability energy that i was picking up but that 11 11 also is attributed to the twin flame energy the heart chakra energy so there could be some feelings of love someone could be dreaming of you wondering about you someone could be from chi town chicago someone's favorite artist could be um kanye west Someone could reside on the west coast or the west side of town. I forgot to do the split, so I will do it now. So we have the six love and the 96 forgiveness. So when I just broke down the, the, the I wonder, I was picking up like someone who's daydreaming or thinking of another person, wondering about you, wondering how things are. And then the six comes out, which alludes to the fact that this could be someone from the past. Because not only do you have the six, the lovers, um, but you also have the six of cups. And the six of cups is someone that you have not you know, communicated with in a while because someone may have gone in a different direction. There could be some, you know, some sort of communication barriers or just a disconnect in the connection. But this person, whoever this is, is in an energy of um, what feels like nostalgia, reflection, um, you know, thinking back to the past um, with this nine and this six and the six that breaks down to 12. So this is someone in the hangman status. This is someone who's been, you know, kind of in isolation or seclusion, just thinking about things, sorting through their feelings or their emotions. Uh, this is someone also who spirit could have forced to, uh, you know, kind of be in seclusion. It's like a, uh, you know, kind of, um, a sacrificial position, if you will, to force someone to see things um, from someone else's vantage point or someone else's perspective. And they're seeing things for what they truly are. Um, this six love gives me like even a past life connection or someone that not only is from the past, but this could be someone who you have good synergy, chemistry, energy. Uh, this could be someone that, like I said, could develop um, or blossom or, you know, bloom into um, marriage, into commitment, into um, a partnership. Uh, this is um, a love ship that is overseen by angels. So I feel like your angels could be aligning you with this person because remember, I saw 444. Unfortunately, I, the, it changed before I could show it to you, but I saw it. And that is, you know, an angelic number, which tells you your angels are around you. So I feel like your angels are aligning you with someone that's your divine counterpart person. Um, with Ravina, honey, I definitely feel this is someone that's sweet on you. It's someone that will treat you very sweetly. Someone who could have in the past not have appreciated you or value you. 
um, someone that is desperate for your forgiveness, desperate that you will accept an apology that they want to offer. Um, this is the person that was associated with the heartbreakers. When you break down the 12, that reduces to three. So this is someone that now sees you, you know, sees the changes that I was speaking of earlier. Because the three, not only is the three of swords, this could have been a person that broke your heart. Maybe there was some sort of entanglement, side pieces, third parties, you know, other rendezvous taking place. Like something could have happened which could have interfered or disrupted the connection. And that resulted in heartache. That resulted in pain, disappointment. That resulted in the demise of a love ship. And so you've been on a journey, healing, growing, maturing, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, blossoming into your authentic self. And this person has been behind the scenes watching and observing your growth, your transformation, and has learned to admire you, admire your strength. And this person now is seeing you as their, you know, divine counterpart or seeing you as someone that they can collaborate with, build with, grow with, someone that they can have, you know, that happily ever after with even. I'm seeing, like I said, the three of wands. So they could be kind of in a space trying to muster up the strength to come toward you, to take action. Um, I do feel something will manifest because I see the three of wands as well, where, you know, on the traditional tarot, there's someone at the tip of a mountain and you can see the ships docking. So whatever this person um, does, I do feel like they will initiate initiate contact and then there will be a response and you two will perhaps pick up um Perhaps where you left off, it'll feel like, you know, old time. Maybe things will flow naturally, organically. I do feel someone is sweet on another person. Someone loves another person. It's 454, so that breaks down to four. So this could be a divine masculine if you look at the clock on the side up there at the top. So this could be a divine masculine because uh, I was picking up on that four before as well. Divine masculine that could really be sweet on another person or really find you to be very emotionally intelligent, um, very nurturing, loving, caring. Maybe this is someone that really um, just adores you. So the 96, I feel that also is... Um, you know, just a reminder for you to just kind of trust your intuition. Um, forgiveness is always for you. I always say this. Um, but the apologies are something that is, you know, you choose whether or not an apology is um, acceptable or not for you, if it's authentic or not. A lot of times you could, felt, you could feel when someone means what they're saying. So that is something that's entirely up to you. But forgiveness um, is yours. So, you know, whether someone apologizes or not, it should not hold you hostage. You should not be stuck. Um, in your healing process, um, you know, unless somebody for, you know, apologizes, you should still be able to, you know, have full autonomy over yourself in your healing process. I'll say. So let's tap in and see. So we got the 90, 93. I love it. That's the happy ending. So there is something that definitely is going to blossom. This is new love blossoming all day long. Because this 6 and this 93, that breaks that breaks down to 9-9, nine, nine, which is 18. I'm getting a secret admirer, but I'm also getting someone that could be a cancer or someone that's hidden behind the scenes, kind of spying, watching, observing from a distance. This is someone that who could also, if it is a cancer, that is very shy. You know, this is someone that does not emote or not very expressive. They feel deeply but they do not emote i'm getting also a sense of someone because when you break down the 18 that's the moon i do feel there could be communication back and forth some sort of uh, you know intuitive or um just some sort of like psycho you know just psychic downloads that someone could be getting someone could be even dreaming of another person um we have um let us see, and this is called Hello Love. So I am feeling like someone's going to communicate. Someone's going to speak, um, reach out and talk to someone. Maybe this is how you used to greet this person or this person used to greet you with Hello Love. Someone is just, you know, observing someone have a good life. If you look behind Let us see, it says good life. So I feel like this person... This person is definitely observing you and feels like they could have a good life, a happy life, an exciting life with you. And I feel like when you do speak to this person that you haven't spoken to in a long time, because I do feel like this is, again, that person from the past. The six is given not only the lovers, uh, you know, a twin flame connection, past life connection, yin yang type of connection, but it's also given someone from the past. And with happy ending, a conversation can result in a happy ending. 
you know, and the nine has given me like the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, where this person sees that you are just exuding this regalness, this royalness. You have, you know, your own stability and security. Um, you have self-love, you know, you know your worth and value. You're very protective of yourself. This person wants to come in. They want to be a part of your life, a part of your world is what I'm hearing. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloveds. My beloved Scorpios, let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the overall energy. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. What's coming in, going out, going on? My spirit of peace, power, and protection. What's coming in, going out, going on for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios? I'm hearing two more. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Cut the deck. I'm going to turn that down. I don't want to stridite. So hello, love. So someone will definitely reach out to another person, call another person. And I feel like, you know, because I was seeing that five earlier. So what we have right now is we have 16 rebirth. So with hello, love, someone is absolutely observing you have some sort of transformation. You know, this is like the birth, you know, the emergence of a new you. You've kind of blossomed and bloomed into your own like, I just see someone who's had some sort of startling metamorphosis. This is how someone sees you. You've reached a level of self-mastery, but also, you know, personal growth. The 16 breaks down to 7. So whatever, you know, you was destroyed in the past, you've rebuilt on a more solid foundation. You know, so you turned your pain into power. You transmuted, you know, those circumstances and turned it into, you know, your, 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 your motivating um, force, you know, your fuel, your drive, you know, your, your, your focus, your ambition, you know, the 16 that deals with the tower. So this is showing that whatever those experiences were in your past that were painful, that caused heartache and loss and, you know, maybe losses of loved ones could have been very challenging to navigate on top of life, everyday life. You know, maybe you've never had an opportunity to mourn loved ones that have transitioned, you know, and you had to take that time to heal, you know, and everything seemed to have been crumbling at the same time. But this was spirit stepping in. Remember those red flags I was speaking of earlier? It's like that's what spirit was saying you missed. You missed a lot of red flags in relationships, in connections. Even with, you know, your careers, you may have missed some red flags. And it led ultimately to the tower falling. But that was by divine timing. The divine stepped in and struck the tower, you know. The lightning that strikes the tower is that Mama Oya energy. And my Mama Oya is the, you know, is scorpionic energy. So she utilizes, you know, the elements as well. She utilizes and has power, you know, over the weather. So that, that, that sh sh the strike of the lightning hitting the tower is to symbolize the change that's necessary. And there's no going back. So you have to deal with what's in front of you, you know, and you have to more importantly rebuild because it's been destroyed. It's been it's been burnt down to the ground. And that's exactly what you did. The seven deals with the crown chakra. So you start with the first, the root, the base chakra, and then you work your way all up to the crown. And the crown is how you get divine downloads. That's how you connect your cerebral energy. It's a very powerful energy because, you know. The mind, you know, that's that that is a very powerful force, but the all is mental, you know. So you have a divine mind, which means there's levels to this ish, you know. You don't reach divine feminine and divine masculine energy just by happenstance, just saying. You've had to gone through some things, you've had to experience some things, you had to get some bruises on the way, beloved. Trust. So this seven is now showing me like I'm getting the chariot now. Now you're feeling more harmonic. More balanced, more in your flow, your chi is right, you're feeling confident, and you like, Pew! you know, you, you, you out here, you know, there's a victory. Like I said, I was feeling victory. And this is the new you, baby, the new and improved you. You know, this is the upgrade. This is the upgraded version of you. What's on the bottom of the deck? We got 87 synchronicity. 
for when we pull who and what you're attracting to you. So there's going to be a lot of synchronicities. There's going to be a lot of, you know, whether it's four, four, fours, whether it's three, three, threes, whether it's two, two, twos, whatever those numbers may be for you. Maybe it's eight, 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 seven, seven, seven. I've been seeing seven, seven, seven for the past couple of days. Um, I saw it today as well. I also saw four, four, four. So you may be seeing those numbers. I saw them on the back of license plates. So that energy just showed me that, you know, I'm on the frequency and in the flow. Those messages are also correlating something that I have to tap into myself to better understand. I just saw 3939 and that too breaks down to six. So the six is the first side. Trust your intuition and use discernment with every decision. This is also speaking of the downloads, the, you know, the little upgrades, the updates that you could be getting right now. You could be having a lot of, you know, headaches, dull headaches. Maybe you're having some really uh, strange dreams or vivid dreams, lucid dreams. Some of you could be astral traveling. Maybe you've had your first experience with astral traveling and it could have like tripped you out. Um, this full moon, as I said, is tomorrow on the 15th, uh, if you're here in the States and it is a super moon. So the energy is intense as we can feel and see and observe. It's been very intense. I've seen a lot of car accidents on the road. I've seen a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. People feel lost, you know, so it's very important at this time to really protect your energy. This 15 is the devil. So this is showing you that this could be some cunning energy trying to plot and play scheme and skin this is energy that is untrustworthy this is energy that's very beguiling um, speaks with a forked tongue Judas's liars people that are just takers people that will you know kind of be sneaky um, calculating so be mindful with synchronicity if something happens um, to you and you get you know you got to trust your your intuition that like that gumption is your instinct and it's there for a reason that's why it sits in your stomach because everything will feel funny like your whole stomach will turn if you are in, a, in an environment where you can feel the, the thickness in the air. And, you know, for most of you, you know to trust that and you'll remove yourself from said environment. So that's what I feel like Spirit is saying. There's going to be some things that may occur and it's going to trigger a, a feeling. And Spirit is saying, trust that because you're dealing with a whole you know, a whole Judas, you're dealing with a liar, you're dealing with someone who's sneaky, this could be someone at your job. So there could be some things that have, have got, you know, could have occurred. And it is not um, a coinky ding, you know, there's no such thing as a coinky ding. Like this is something that you're seeing for a reason The spirit is trying to bring your attention to it, because I'm just getting someone trying to like, you know, trying to be cunning, you know, because that's what the devil is, the devil's very manipulative. Um, and it will do whatever to get what it wants. And, you know, even if it has to, you know, take a couple people out, snuff a couple people, you know, backstab a couple people, it's going to get what it wants. So just don't be the pawn in this devil's game. You know what I'm talking about? Because this right here is very calculating. Spirit is saying with synchronicities, if you are seeing certain numbers, like I said, 444, that will allude to the fact that, okay, my angels are around me. And whatever in that moment, you know, I'm feeling, I try to connect with myself in that moment no matter where I am and I'll just try to sit with my thoughts to see if there's a download that comes through or if there is a number that shows up shortly thereafter or a sensation or a feeling whatever it is if there's a song playing if there's a certain line in the song a word in the song if there's whatever it is we have to connect the dots because they can't they they got to use what's around them to communicate with us and that's why it's our job our job to be aware self-aware you know it ain't all about us it ain't all about what's going on here we got to be mindful that our angels are always communicating and um you know giving us the direction that we desire um that we deserve so or that we're seeking rather so with this 8715 that's the devil like i said but the devil um when you break that down, that's the six. And remember, we just saw six love. So the devil could be like the shadow side of the lovers because the lovers card is the light energy with the angel overseeing it. And the devil card is the dark um, energy with the devil overseeing that union. But together, that is the light and the dark, which you need to find the balance, the harmony. So this could be, you know, just a testament of, you know, someone that could be the yin to your yang, someone that could bring out that in you because I was picking up like someone from the past. So this could be that past person that could have had, um, you know, 
could have done some things in the past that was just very um, questionable. You didn't feel like you could trust them. But whatever we, um, whatever's going on, the six spirit is just reminding you, trust your intuition. So what's coming and going out, going on? Let me see um, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them. Let me get a message. Thank you, spirit. We got 22 intuition. Didn't I just say this? Trust your intuition. So with the 7 and the 22, that breaks down to 11. And 11 is justice. So this could be someone that was a karmic. This could be someone that taught you some lessons. This could also be spirit's way of saying that you will get justice in a situation. If you were hurt in the past or if you went through something, someone is now, you know, watching you and observing you. And it is 22, which breaks down to 4. And I was picking up the masculine energy um, of the divine masculine. So this could still be that divine masculine with 2-2, two, two, that is the high priest, high priestess energy. So that could also be just a mirror. Again, two people who are mirroring one another, just as I was kind of picking up earlier with the 11-11, the twin flame type of energy, or that yin-yang with the, the, you know, the lovers and the devil card. Um, that is kind of like the, the light and the dark or the, the, you know, the light and the shadow energy, if you will. Um, we do have... Um, um, ha maze, happy feelings, and it's 508, and that uh, breaks down to 13. So someone is watching you have all these positive emotions, happy feelings. You're elated, you know, even after some sort of journey, some sort of, you know, um, some sort of journey that you've been on. You know, you now have these happy feelings. And remember, we saw earlier happy ending. Someone's observing you have this happy feeling or these happy endings. And this is the same person that watched you had some sort of major transformation because it was 508. So with this rebirth transformation, remember, I was also getting, you know, with the number 16, the 7, the chariot, like a triumphant outcome. So someone's watching you have some sort of victory, some sort of positive outcome or something that is working out in your favor. They're watching you um, celebrate or bask in this, perhaps. You're getting your just due. This is perhaps maybe someone's karma to watch you have this success, to watch you progress. And with intuition, who or what you're attracting to you, like I said, very psychic, you could be clairvoyant, clairaudient, clair, you know, um, you could be all of the clairs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, I just feel someone is very connected. This is someone who has divine knowledge and divine wisdom. And who or what you're attracting to you is mirroring you in that regard. So you're meeting someone who is equally, you know, in tune, intuitive. And someone who could very well be communicating with you. You know, there could be some sort of communication because like I said, the seven and this four that breaks down to 11, that is a channel. So again, that's spirits again. Thank you, spirit. So spirit again is saying, um, sit with your ideas, your opinions. Because when you think of the 11, that's a that's like a portal, you know, and that's an opportunity for you to receive downloads. So sit with your thoughts, meditate, contemplate, get it straight, but don't just take action. I feel things will work out in your favor but I feel like spirit is telling you to make sure that you're you're seeing things clearly. Make sure that you are in harmony. You're you're balanced. You know you have emotional equilibrium. That you're in harmony because that's what the the justice card is all about as well. And also, Mama Maat has everyone's address. So I feel like whatever seed you've sowed in the past, there's something positive that could blossom. But it's all based upon what you've done in your past. So if your hands are dirty, then you know I don't know if there's going to be anything blossoming. But if you you have good conscience and you know that you've done things just. You've been, you know, um, just in your actions and kind in the way that you treated others. I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment blessing. You're getting something uh, that will work out in your favor. With 91, we have surrender here. And I'm about to pull the card for how someone feels about you. So someone may feel like you're guarded or blocked or maybe someone feels, um, you know, like they were in the past kind of resisting the situation. Or maybe there was some resistance or something stuck and stagnant because the 10 is associated with the wheel of fortune. So something's coming full circle. There's an opportunity now, maybe because with Maze playing, you know, there was a lot of confusion or there was just um, two people who were on, you know, just kind of going through their own journeys and having their own experiences in life. And it kind of led them in two different paths or on a completely different um direction than what they anticipated but with surrender maybe someone's realizing or um owning up to the fact that maybe they were resisting something 
Because when I see surrender, I just get I get a sense of someone fighting it. You know, um, someone was fighting something. I feel like someone is finally going to just open up, be more receptive, you know, not as closed off perhaps. But again, there could have been delays and blockages due to maybe karmic lessons being learned or certain circumstances playing out. It was a matter of divine timing. With 10, I feel there's something destined, something that is meant to be, because we did see the 11, 11 earlier. We also have the six that came out, which is the lovers and the 15, which is the flip energy of that or the, the shadow energy of that. And so I do feel like this could be a spiritual union partnership, twin flame, divine counterpart type of uh, situation as well. But I'm also getting a sense of like, you know, if there were delays, if there were things that you were waiting for, if there were opportunities that were blocked, I feel like now things are going to start working in your favor. And I feel you have to be more open and receptive to receive. You know, if you are just blocked off, guarded, um, and not open, then you can also block your blessings. I feel like with Archie Bell... And the drills, it says tighten up. So with tighten up, I feel like that's what you were doing. This is 1968. That breaks down to 15. And if you look at that, that 15 breaks down. Um, that's the devil that we was just talking about. And you can see like this person is being chased, you know, by this woman. And she looks like she's, or are they dancing? I don't know what they're doing. Okay, they look like they're dancing. But it is a couple, a divine feminine, divine masculine. Someone you could have been dealing with could have um, could wear glasses. They could be a taller male. Someone has like you know a nice little um, you know nice little shape shape up like fro a blowout if you will. He he dresses very dapper. Someone could have been born um, in the sixties or the seventies. Someone could have the. You know, the name Archie or Bell, first, middle, or last. With Tighten Up, I feel like that's also just kind of saying that, um, as remember, with 1968, that breaks down to 15, the 1, 6, and the 8. That breaks down to 15, and the 15 deals with the devil. So I do feel like the devil kind of was, you know, teaching you a valuable lesson, how to, you know, tighten up and, and, and even tighten up your defenses um, of protecting oneself, of establishing boundaries, because uh, maybe you were just very, you know, kind of open and, and maybe you were just fun and, you know, and, and this person may have taught you that you have to, you know, you can't just, you know, give everyone the benefit of the doubt. So with this surrender, I, I do feel someone will open up, um, you know, they, they hope that you know, you will be open to them even, but they feel like it's tight, like it's like pulling teeth also I'm getting from tightening up. Like, you know, maybe your your defenses, your walls are are pretty reinforced. <laughs> and we got eighty seven again and it's the fifteen that I was breaking down earlier and we just saw the fifteen. And now it's five fourteen, which is five five, and that's ten. So this is someone that I'm I the first thing I heard was I, I saw like the Ten of Wands when I said the 5-5, five, five, the 10. You know, of course, I heard destined, but I heard the Ten of Wands. So I feel like it was destined for you to learn the lessons you've learned from this person. Because, again, this could have been like, you know, Twin Flame situation. And those Twin Flame unions are really about teaching you um you know, how to become your authentic self. Like they're going to come in to challenge you and they're going to show you things you need to work on and you will show them things they need to work on because you both will trigger one another. You know, you 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 attract what you are. So when you are in a, a twin flame union, um, there's a soul tie there. And the two of you are, you know, the journey is about and the, the maze that was, you know, being referenced earlier is about the journey, you know, it's about this journey to self-discovery, self-mastery, ultimately. But you go, you begin or start this quest with the intent to first, you know, heal. And in healing, you learn to love. And in learning to love, you begin to learn to know thyself. And in knowing thyself, you now know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I could just end it with you know. So we have right now, um, we got things will get better, and this is Cleo's soul. 
So again, I was hearing the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands was the burdens and the heavy, you know, just feeling the heaviness of having to perhaps do everything on your own, not feeling like you had a support system or a village, um, having to grow through these experiences, right? Like I was picking up earlier, like people who lost loved ones and having to mourn while still having to show up to work, still being a mommy or daddy, still having to like, you know, take care of your own self, even though you were in this state of like emotional um, loss, you know, and, and you had to juggle it all. So that's like a very heavy burden, but spirit is confirming and, and assuring that the things will get better for some of you all. Um, the way you were able to reach this, this place, um, is through like maybe taking spiritual baths, um, doing some sort of rituals, cleanses and the ocean, maybe over the summertime. Give me one moment. My cat is trying to get inside. Come on, baby mama. Come on. I don't need you like tearing up my room. Thank you. My daughter in there making some shrimp tacos. <laughs> hey, Katara. Hey, my friend, friend. My apologies, y'all. This is real life over her. All right. So, yeah. So, things will get better. And we did see that because, you know, that happy ending card, which is a very beautiful yellow card that shows new beginnings are on its way, new opportunities, um, just a very powerful new start, I feel. The card that flew out, as I'm talking about that yellow card, is the three. And look that, the three. And that three is what? The uh, Divine Feminine, the Empress. And I was expounding on that earlier because I did see that on the phone. So, yeah, so we see exactly what I was speaking of earlier where someone, how they feel about you is the three, that you are a maternal energy, a matriarchal energy, that you are, you know, indeed, um, you know, a beautiful and attractive energy, strong and powerful energy, wise and nurturing energy, someone who sees you as creative, you know, you could be birthing babies, you could be with child, you may be a beautiful mother, a loving mother, nurturing mother, caring mother, or you could just naturally have maternal instincts, paternal instincts, you could be someone that this person could see themselves planting seeds and roots with, someone who may see you also as like just you know, very unique and also um, someone working on projects or having some level of um, success, perhaps in a business, or maybe you have some sort of skill sets, talents, gifts that you've been honing. Maybe this person is aware of your talents or has seen your work and they just see you as a ray of sunshine. It's like you're just bright and beautiful and inviting. They adore you. They admire you. There's this energy of just being like attracted, invigorated, and so like they adore you. You're like this beacon of light. You're just warmth. You're, you're inviting. You're safe. This is a beautiful energy. Very beautiful. And they want to communicate because the seven and the four, that's 11. And that breaks down to two. And the two and the three breaks down to five. And remember, I was picking up earlier with that number five that I saw on the time clock. This person wants to communicate. You know, this is someone that you haven't spoken to. And they do want to communicate. And we have Big Sean. Um, damn, and I just messed up. Oh, my goodness. How annoying. That is the most annoying thing in the world when you like... <laughs> so aggravating it's like the playlist be playing and then i hit the button and then everything just you know what i'm saying the whole playlist gets lost in translation and so now i got to start all over again all right which we shall you know there are no accidents right everything happens for a reason so they was like nope next all right so spirit said we're going to choose india ivory this says the truth so someone is coming uh, to terms with the truth. And remember, we saw the justice because the seven and this 22, this person is seeing the truth because they were flipped in that hangman status earlier. Remember, we did see the 12 from the six, the love and the uh, 96 forgiveness. I was getting the hangman. Remember, so this person, the seven and this 22. That is the 11, the justice. The justice is also about the truth. It's about speaking the truth. It's about the truth coming out. This person now sees the truth. And the truth is that you are, 
an empress you are you know an emperor a wife they uh, this is like they see you as the ideal you know their ideal you know this is someone that is um perhaps of indian descent west indian even i'm hearing hindu maybe someone's from jamaica because i'm hearing iri like iri like everything is like all right Someone could be from Jamaica. Someone could have some Jamaican, you know, um, heritage. Katara is making all the noise in the world. We still got the 8715 on the bottom of the deck for what's hidden. So remember, I was picking up devilishment, and that's what the devil does. He hides in plain sight. And, you know, your spidey senses are just like on like so that whatever this person is plotting and scheming and, and watching and observing to to do it's like you already feel it you speak energy you already know the truth you know you already know the truth of the matter and the truth of the matter is like whatever they are plotting it's going to kind of blow up in their face because you're intuitive you're psychic and you can speak energy so that energy is, you know, is exposed. Thank you, spirit. That was quick. I didn't even ask the question, and they gave me the answer. And we have individuality, and there goes the 11 again. So this is what's hidden. I feel very strongly that this could have been a codependent type of situation. And I feel you have been able to, you know, acquire or obtain a sense of independence just from separating yourself or removing yourself from situations that were not serving your highest good or the way you felt overwhelmed like you was doing all the work or carrying all the burdens so you kind of like walked away as I was picking up earlier um, from those emotionally bankrupt type of connections in the guise of you know not even in the guise but in the you know it, with the focus of self-love, of of standing up for what you believe in, standing up for yourself, even establishing those boundaries. That's what walking away from, you know, emotionally um, stunted individuals teaches them. That first and foremost, you know your worth, you know, and and... And, and more importantly, that your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your happiness. So I do feel there is some karma. You know, I feel it was karmic, a karmic entanglement because we got 11 and 11. So the same person, when we add up the overall energy of the 16, the 7, and then who or what you're attracting to you, the 22, the um, intuition that breaks down to 11, and it lands on who or what you're attracting to you. But then this energy is also mirroring, and this is what's hidden. So this person that I was already feeling was watching from a distance, observing you, um, is watching, and they're trying to make a decision. And that's why I feel spirit is also reminding you to trust your intuition. With the five and the two, this is this reduces to seven. So that's why spirit is saying, trust your intuition. You're going to be forced to make a decision. You could be feeling like you're stuck in the fork in the road. Or maybe this is a decision that this person that is wanting to take action and come toward you is in. They could be in a position where they're trying to decide how to approach you, what to say, which when to, to take action, when how to go about it. Like they could be have all these these um decisions and questions and unknowns in their head and they're quite confused. What we have right here is flowetry, superstar. So someone may see you as a star, someone may see you, you know, as someone who shines bright. You're your um a wish fulfillment like I was saying, an ideal a uh, partner mate I also feel with the 11 and the 11 again that's confirmation this could be a twin flame past life love this could be a spiritual partnership this could be some sort of like kindred spirit and maybe the both of you had to learn some tough lessons and you were able to, you know, heal thyself, love thyself and better know thyself. So now you have something to offer the other because you've been on your journey to self-discovery, self, you know, self-love, self-worth, self-value. And so now with this can, you know, conclude to 
the 11 justice, which can mean marriage, as I was saying earlier, someone proposing, someone coming in to court you, or this could even be like the two of cups where two people are now, you know, full and have something to offer and they give their cup of love in receipt of their partner's cup of love. And altogether, this reduces to seven, and the seven is giving the chariot. And so the chariot is, is victorious, it's triumphant. You know, with flowetry, I feel like the connection is going to be very fluid because this could be a yin-yang type of dynamic. This could be someone that, you know, just kind of, there's the beautiful ebbs and flows with this connection, conversations, very stimulating. You feel very, you know, just very connected, you know, stimulated. Um... You feel this strong sense of chemistry and synergy between you and this person as well. With the 71 health, I do feel like, you know, someone is getting stronger. You know, someone is perhaps with the outcome. You know, that 71, the 8, that, that deals with the strength. So, you know, someone could be mustering up the strength. This is someone that could be mustering up the courage, you know, to communicate, to express something. Someone could be from the UK. Someone could also be from Florida. Or someone could be from Chi-Town, Chicago. Divine Spirit of Peace, Kind Protection. Thank you, Spirit. The bottom of the deck, we got Surrender yet again. So I do feel something is coming full circle. That is without a shadow of a doubt. I feel whatever is destined will be. And I do feel also that this has a lot to do with endings, but it's also new beginnings. It's um, like exciting new starts and we have another 11 in the reading so 74 nature is the outcome i feel spirit is reminding some of you all to take a trip outside take a walk i don't care if it's getting a little brisk outside like that you know that fresh air is good for the lungs you know it's good for you to get out and just breathe some of that fresh air fresh prana Especially before all the cars are on the road. Especially before they start dropping all of the poison into the atmosphere. But I do feel like Spirit is saying, you know, get outside. Get some fresh air. Ground yourself. Connect. You know, sit by a body of water. Sit by a tree. This also could be alluding to the fact that, you know, because it's next to another 11, that you're going to have a very natural, a la natural type of connection. And this is... You know, that twin flame. This is someone that you have um, a beautiful synergy. This person's heart chakra is open to you. We have Tamiya. Leave it smoking. Someone could be from Canada. So with leave it smoking, I do feel like this is someone, you know, that is, um, you know, ready to take action. There's something that's going to be, something is going to be um, happening very quickly. Because I keep hearing the expression, they leave it on the first thing smoking, you know. They leave it on the first thing smoking. So, you know, maybe someone is taking a flight or someone's, you know, traveling to see another person because they, they, they do have some sort of conversation and then plans are, you know, made. You know, there's a plan that's made. We also got 66 healing. And that's another mirror. So we got 22, that's a mirror. 11 um, individuality, that's a mirror. And then we have the 66 um healing as a mirror so the two whoever this person is that's been watching you they've while they were watching you you were teaching them so the student could be the teacher at the same time so i do feel a sense of like someone was learning um in this process you know someone was learning and observing you because with this 12 that is that person that i was picking up earlier that was in the hangman status forced in that sacrificial position to learn and to grow and to mature and so that's what this person has done. And now they see you, um, you know, as this this divine counterpart with the three. I do feel, you know, because that breaks down to three. I feel like someone does want to communicate. Thank you, daughter. Mm -hmm. Woo! Cover it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm about to show this off to the tr to the crew. <laughs> Look what my daughter did. Look at all that beautifulness. Look at all them colors. I'm about to take a break to eat this. I'm starving, beloveds. But that was very little... That's my baby. She was in there cooking for her mama. Some nice little shrimp tacos. You know, just a little something. But yeah, so with this um, 12, 
that three and then the 11 that breaks down to two. So this is the same person. The outcome is this person will eventually speak to you, communicate with you, or they will, you know, take some sort of action, especially with leave it smoking because I just feel a sense of angst. You know, like anxiousness also. And with surrender, I feel like they're just going to finally just give in um, and, and kind of get out of the, 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 the fear, you know, mentality. And they're just going to take action. They're just going to do it. And they may surprise themselves. We have underneath that four. So this could be a divine masculine. This also breaks down to five. Confirming, double confirmation that there is a conversation underway. This is that person. And five and five breaks down to ten. So this is, again, you know, the wheel is turning. The wheel's turning. Um, you know, whatever was delayed, whatever was stagnant, now there's momentum. Someone's trying to build this momentum to take action. Um, I was getting with leave it smoking that someone was leaving on the first thing, smoking, traveling, driving, flying, whatever they're doing. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to get to you. I'll be working my way back to you, babe. I just heard that so loud in my mind that I had to freaking sing it. This person is watching you at your best so you are strong you are beautiful you are powerful passionate like they are watching you just in all of your authenticity you know just all of your glory uh someone's name could be Aaliyah. someone could be um from detroit yeah this is beautiful um yeah, this could be a sacred union also. Because, you know, Aaliyah means highest, most exalted one. So I feel like, you know, either this is how this person sees you, you know, which is why they're no longer like holding back, you know, and now they want to just, you know, kind of just surrender to how they're feeling, you know, and that one, you know, that the 10 breaks down to is giving new beginning. They, they want to take it, you know, take action. But I'm also feeling like this is someone very attracted to you. And it's because you're attractive. Like, you know, you at your best, you shining, you, you glowing and you glistening and you're successful. You know, you're strong, you're kind and thoughtful. Like you haven't been hardened, you know, by your experiences. You're still the most lovable person that they, you know, that they knew. So this is a beautiful um, energy. So let's tap in. Let's see. Um, let me get some messages from spellcasters. Let me get some messages from spellcasters, beloveds. Let's see what we got. All right. I like the way that looks. Look at that. There goes the sun, baby. Remember, I was picking up the sun, even from just how bright and beautiful this you know, yellow card is. Look at that. The sun. That's how they see you. You know, they see you as the sun. You know, they see you as this this beautiful ray of light, of wisdom, of hope, of optimism, of strength. Of an opportunity to have a new, you know, a new life, a new lease on life, you know, because they see you at your best. It's inspiring, you know, it's it's triggering, it's inspiring, but it's more so, you know, it's really motivating them to want to take action on the split. We have the uh, five of pentacles. So this could be someone who's seen the truth of a matter. Remember, I was picking up abandonment. I was picking up rejection. You know, maybe there's someone who it was unrequited love. The five. Remember, we had that five and I was saying challenges. I was getting that competitive energy, you know, and that's what this looks like. You know, especially with that dog barking, like someone was very disloyal. Someone was sneaking off with other people because I was also picking up third party entanglements, other rendezvous. And you just sat here and just did your own, you know, you turned your back on all the nonsense, reinvented yourself. And this is why this person is observing you at your best because you're glowing and ished. I literally said that. And then the sun shone. The sun is shining on that ass now. And that's why they got these regrets because they're literally watching your transformation in real time. Real time, beloveds. And that's making them feel left out in the cold, locked out. You're going to change the locks on a mofo. Some of y'all kindly packed up someone's things and removed it out of the home that you <laughs> were paying for. And you, 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 nice and neat, very thoughtful, you know, you didn't just throw it in a 
plastic hefty bag. You know, you was kind enough to give them a nice bin. You know, like this is like you reinvented yourself. You became the alchemist, I imagine nation, using the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether. In both of these, you are co-creating with source. You are painting the picture the way you see fit. And that's how this person is seeing you. That's why Aaliyah is singing at your best. You are love. They admire you. They are intrigued. They are just in awe. And we have the seven of wands. See that? There's this defense this wall that, you know, that this person has, you know, put up almost like falsely, you know, there's, there's, there's barriers, there's walls, but you are minding your business. You see how you just hear minding your business, creating, co-creating, manifesting, <laughs> you know, that's the energy. They, they're guarded for no reason, you know, because you're, you're doing your own thing. There goes the five of wands I was picking up on. See that? Look at all this confusion. You don't even know what to look at first. But this person is sitting here and it's almost like they are, you know, almost like the um, the antagonist, you know, in this story. They, they have duped everyone. This is the type of energy a devil would be on where you dupe everyone and they're trying to hit this. They, they're blindfolded trying to hit a beehive or a hornet's nest and them hornets is going to tear that ass up. And they're just getting all of the shits and giggles, you know, but they don't realize the hornets don't know they didn't have nothing to do with it. So they ask could get bit too. And that's probably what happened. But remember, I said there's too many opinions and confusion. But you you was over here operating in the light. You know, you saw clearly what you needed to do. And that's exactly what you did. You know, and we have Black Street Street playing joy. So I do feel like you know, this person has come to some sort of conclusion that you you bring a lot of joy, happiness, and peace. This is someone that has had a difficult time holding, you know, letting you go, you know. Um, and this song says, um, oh, I thought that was another song. It's not, but they're saying joy. So this person definitely, um, especially with the sun here. That's confirming that you just bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy in someone's life. And they can't let you go. But you're also very guarded. And your back is turned because you have moved on to bigger and better. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. When you love thyself, you then, you know, know thyself. And then you know what you deserve. You know what you want to put up with. And so that's why you have moved on. You're now like in your, you know, you know your authentic self. You're in your power. Like, so... A lot of what this person is is feeling and thinking, it's all projection at this point. Um, you're not, like I said, you're not thinking about any of this um, because you're so preoccupied with whatever you're birthing, whatever you know, talents you're honing and gift, gifts you're you're mastering. Like that's where your focus is. Your family, even um, on your growth, on your stability, on your security, on your health and wellness. That's what you're focused on. You're not focused on any mundane or trivial situations like you're really in a space of protecting your peace um you know and just you know putting good energy out there you know planting new seeds so what we have playing right here we got i mean what we have that came out is we have the seven of coins so you can see you're still busy you're still planting the seeds but there is this energy of a little discontent or dis you know boredom um, we also have the uh, Ten of Cups. So we've seen the Ten several times. And the Ten of Cups just speaks to emotional fulfillment. It can speak to family, you know, solidarity, stability. Maybe there are two partners um, that are of significance. You know, maybe there's, this is just, you know, the different, um, the different phases of this love. Because on the back of their clothing, I see like a half a moon and then I see the full moon. So this could just be speaking to the cycles of love or the cycles that you and this person have gone through. But the seven of pentacles and the seven rebirth, this is why, um, you know, I feel like something new is coming because you've been planting new seeds. As I said before, whatever was destroyed, you had to rebuild. And now you're in a space where you have reached a level of stability or you have that that autonomy or that independence where 
you're not codependent on another person. There's no need for anyone else in the picture. Maybe that was something that was um, a challenge in the past in your relationships was the level of codependency, whether emotionally or financially. But now someone has learned how to rebuild on their own and they have the stability. So this is growth. This is you emerging as someone new, but this is also a beautiful and attractive transformation and change for someone that's watching. And the Ten of Cups... For who or what you're attracting to you. This is what someone feels they can achieve. You know, this is what someone knows they feel around you is joy. You know, this is someone that uh, can feel a sense of home, hearth, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. Just support and stability, camaraderie, you know, connection. They feel like they're in a safe space or they feel like they have a partner that they could trust. This is just, you know, a very beautiful energy with intuition. I feel like Spirit is telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to love. Or maybe someone is following their intuition to, you know, perhaps take action. Because remember, their energy does um, fall on, you know, with 11, which is like, you know, the fork in the road. Because I'm getting like the two of wands or the two of swords. They could be stuck in two minds. Two cards are flew out. Actually, are several and then we got the Ten of Swords here on the back of the car, uh, on the back of the deck. So that speaks to like, you know, and this is what we will pull from when we pull how they feel about you. So this is backstab, betrayal, disappointment, lies, trickery. This is that energy. That's very heavy. And remember, I was picking up that there was a lot of heartache and loss and disappointment. And that's how someone has been on a journey to reaching a level of self-mastery. We have Jill Scott and Paul Wall so gone. So someone does feel lost without another person especially if someone knows or is aware that they've betrayed another person or they you know were not loyal in their relationship or their situation and now they feel like you know the situation has it's it's so far gone someone you know is is again kind of conflicted mentally because you see in parentheses it says what my mind says so I feel like someone's mind is playing tricks on them or someone is you know being mind upped they're confused or they're being manipulated or they felt manipulated or they were just stuck in two minds you know so what we have here is we have the fool so this is someone wanting to take the leap someone wanting to take action someone wanting a fresh start someone wanting to try again they wanting a do-over is what I had what I heard pardon me so with head, someone could be up in their head about this fresh start, about taking this leap of action because they are in two minds according to this song. Someone could be from Philly. Someone's name could be Jill or Scott, first, middle, or last. Someone's name could be Paul. Someone may feel like their back is up against a wall. You know, they're so done and, and, and the relationship is so far um, beyond repair is what I'm gathering but they're stuck and conflicted. So whoever, whoever this is, like spirit is forcing someone to trust their intuition, to use their intuition, especially when it comes to a fresh start or when it comes to something new. We also have the Queen of Swords. And I did mention I felt her energy. So this is how someone may see you or perceive you. That's why they are hoping you will be forgiving because they see you as a queen of swords, which is usually depicted as being very icy, bitchy, cold. But this queen of swords, if you see, her sword is down. So I feel like you're not even communicating with whomever this is. But they're in their mind, they see you as someone that's just going to chop their head off or you're going to cuss them out or, you know, because they know that they're guilty of something there's a level of guilt there's a level of remorse that this person is carrying or you know there there's a burden this person is carrying but you're just chilling this queen of swords actually looks inviting she's kind of smiling it's almost like you are anticipating this person coming towards you because again you both are intuitive you know there is some communication going back and forth but you also will not put up with anyone insulting your intelligence and what we have here is three of pentacles. So this person is wanting to come in and collaborate, wanting to, you know, what I'm hearing in my mind's eye is repair, you know, the relationship and recover it. I feel like they even may say something like, let's go to couples counseling. You know, maybe someone sat at the feet of or an elder and they, you know, were able to, you know, soak up some game, you know, maybe even get a little chastisement. 
that they're walking away from that, you know, wiser, sharper, seeing something for what it truly was. And what did I say about the Eight of Cups? So this was a connection that there was, you know, emotional bankruptcy. There was no equal give and take. And so someone left, you know, and this is because someone was being sneaky. Whenever I see hoods, I feel like someone is trying to mask or hide what their intentions are. He's leaving late at night, sneaking off. So there was a lot of, you know, shenanigans going on at night. Someone could have had, uh, you know, a job during the, work, the night shift. And, you know, they was just out there in those streets, you know, and you may have discovered it. But this is now what someone is realizing is that there is far more synergy chemistry love um between the two of you than they may have initially led on because of pride remember we kept seeing the card surrender 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 so that means someone was fighting it someone wasn't open to the opportunity or receptive to the opportunity and that's why now someone is you know feeling you know how they feel about you as the ten of swords like they know they backstabbed you or betrayed you or they feel like you know the situation could be dead or it's met its demise you know, and now we have sir all in my head. So this person is up in their head. They are really struggling to see the truth of the matter. They're not really communicating or, you know, emoting. Uh, they're just kind of playing out these scenarios um, in their mind. And so they are, you know, the star runner in their own horror film. And this, there's two what I see as wolves, you know. So I, I do sense, hey, baby mama. You want to get in my lap? I don't know if that's going to work, honey. Come on. She's a spoiled little baby. She likes to sit in my lap while I do the readings. Let's see if we can accommodate baby mama. All right? <laughs> We're almost through this. Okay? We can do this. All right? You want to sit here? Here, you got to get comfortable. Get comfortable, my friend. Mm. Get comfortable. Let me get me some water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just... Sprinkled a little bit. Oh, man. Refreshing. All right. So all in my head, just like I said, someone is up in their head, mentally trapped, mentally conflict, conflicted, confused, trying to make a decision. This is how they feel about you. That's what's playing. And with sir, it is a masculine energy that is in this, this status, that's in this mental state. Uh, with Ten of Swords, it could be because of something that occurred in the past, which led to backstabs and betrayals and disappointments, heartache and loss, sudden loss, whatever it is. So how does this person, why is the three, the creativity card here, but how this person, our beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them, feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, my beautiful spirit. Thank you very much. And so we have the Knight of Swords. So this is going to be the card when we pull what's hidden in the energy. So there is someone that wants to rush and have a conversation. Remember when I pulled that card, it was seven. Um, it reduced to seven. And so the seven is like the chariot. So there is um, a conversation that's coming in quickly or coming in unexpectedly. Um, maybe someone, uh, you know, is going to confess or express something that was, you know, that they... They were seeing the, how they were seeing something from their perspective, and they're going to realize like it was all in their head. Whatever they were telling themselves, it was just something that they were creating. It wasn't the truth because maybe when they have a conversation with you, there will be clarity. That's why it's important to have conversations instead of assuming ish. You know what I'm talking about? Like you know, people be assuming ish all day, and 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 they be just the furthest thing from the truth. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's been taking some time for this person to kind of muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom because they're trying to plan and prepare and strategize so like i said maybe this is someone that's really trying to you know map out the right plan they, that's why they're stressing is because they want it to almost be perfect they want it to to go well so they're putting all of their energy and intention into um you know creating this atmosphere or this situation so with nine of Pen knight of pentacles they have something that they want to offer you because they see your worth they see your value so they want to offer you something this person energetically is very connected to you they feel a synergy they feel this magnetism because we have oman um iman omari someone's name could be iman Om Om omari um 
and with energy this person definitely like they feel this kind of this this chemistry or the synergy um there's something very magnetic between the two of you and i also see the moon and remember we we mentioned the moon earlier so this is someone that has hidden you know these these deep emotions feelings um you know, this is someone that does see you as uh, a divine feminine. You know, they're very attracted to you. You could see that there's a wolf and a dog here, you know, kind of, um, you know, uh, howling at this full moon. And tomorrow is the full moon. So maybe there will be some messages intuitively or telepathically or some sort of dream. Um, and it could be shocking. Whenever I look at this moon, I always see like a surprised face when I see that moon. So this is very interesting. I do get a sense of like there's something that is trans, you know, transpiring because two people were going through a tower moment. You're mirroring your person. Even these pillars look like the number 11. And remember the person that you were attracting to you when we landed on their, um, that energy, the cards reduced to 11. And this even... Um, you know, like I said, these two, these, these two towers, this represents the towers, um, that is 11. So what I see is I feel like this is someone, um, you know, that is, you know, making a decision, but also seeking justice uh, in this situation. They want justice. They want to rebuild because this is, again, um, circumstances that led to the demise of, you know, uh, I do feel like, you know, maybe this person wants to take baby steps because I see like a puppy here, you know, and dogs represent loyalty. I would assume like wolves because they are they run in packs. Um, this may be like an alpha male. So it's almost like, you know, uh, someone who's, you know, maybe they've gone through some sort of, um, you know, they've had some sort of internal self audit. And I also see, wow, I also see, if you look at like, it looks like a lobster, but it could, oh no, it's a crab. And it has an onk. And the onk, the onk represents, you know, unity, the trinity rather, of man, woman, and child. So this crab, that's a cancer. So, the, the, you know, the crabs are all about family as well. You know, they, they're all about the home, the hearth as well, the family and togetherness so that's what this person wants because i was picking up on someone wanting a fresh start or someone wanting to try again and they they feel like they you know this this communication that's coming in you know maybe there was some some you know arguments like i said in the past disagreements which led to someone kind of walking away distancing themselves you know being single so let's tap in why is this individuality card here for what's hidden in the energy wow thank you spirit and then we have the um judgment card what did i say there's a wake up call. Someone's having the epiphanous moment, the aha moment. And there's been a lot of tests, a lot of trials. Someone has been tried and tested, I should say, probed, you know. And what they were going through was, you know, those were karmic lessons. And, and that's why justice was coming out because my mama Aunt has everyone's, you know, address. And my mama aunt has observed a lot of contradictions, lies, deception. That's what the karma, you know, this, this justice is all about, um, you know, finding that karmic balance. And the star flew out to clarify the 11 for what's hidden individuality. So someone has watched you become the alchemist, as I said. You tapped into your alchemical force, co-created with source, found your balance, your harmony, your chi. You're in the flow, and that's why you are able to manifest what you desire because you know how to speak what you desire into the ethers. You know how to utilize the water, the fire, the earth, the air. This is the energy that you tapped into, and that's why there are blessings, there are wish fulfillments, there are prayers being answered answered there are things to look forward to i mentioned this card as well and the judgment is because this is why you were tried and tested and you passed the test you know someone could be from mali africa someone could be korean i believe janae aikau is korean someone could be from georgia atlanta What's the outcome? Why is the 74 nature and 66 healing here for the outcome? Thank you, spirit. 
bottom of the deck, judgment is still on the bottom. So you will get your just due. I do feel things are absolutely turning around in your favor with the two. I do feel like it's going to be based upon decisions. You know, someone is finally seeing something. And I feel like this is going to allow them, um, you know, the freedom. Because we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So someone's making a decision perhaps about family. And there goes the Empress. I mentioned her as well. So with Molly Music con Contradiction... You know, someone's, you know, heart and mind is contradicting the other. You can see the test, like they're being tested. Remember, I was picking up on someone being tested. But, and there goes the Empress, like self-mastery. Like, don't allow yourself to get, you know, tricked, duped. If someone's calling you and you're already walking, moving, you know, walking. What do you say? What did, um, what's his name say? I'm looking at the front door. You know, whatever you... Did don't let nobody distract you off your path. You know, there goes the bull, and that bull definitely um, is associated with the Taurus energy. And we are, like I said, in the full moon of a t of Taurus. So there's going to be revelations. I feel like there's something coming true or coming out, some news that you may learn or someone may learn about you, or maybe there's just a sense of um, you may be tested when it comes to some sort of um, family dynamic relationship. There's a test. Maybe there were tests in the past. And that's spirit's way of telling you to trust your intuition. And the sun came back out. I love it. If this don't look like healing to me, look at that. That's a beautiful, healing, vibrant energy. That speaks to rejuvenation, recuperation. This is a beautiful energy. I love that. This is a new opportunity. This is joy and happiness. The sun and the moon are both in the reading along with the stars. The sun, the moon, and the stars. As above, so below, beloveds. So check out your sun sign reading. Check out your moon reading. You know, we are in the, the you know, um, also check out maybe your rising but this is this the sun, moon, and stars coming out in the reading. It's like almost God's, you know, the most high God, whatever you call. It. It's like their way of saying that they're gonna give you whatever you want. Because this this star card shows like wish fulfillment and blessings. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I forgot where the star was. I think it was there. And then we have the four of cups. And that four of cups is about emotional equilibrium, balance. You can see, you know, you, you're practicing your mudras, you're breathing, you're centering yourself. That's the meditative state that I was speaking to. And that's how you're able to acquire this peace and this balance and this, this new beginning is, 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 you know, is assured. And I also see like a crab here. So maybe this is the person, the masculine that you're attracting to you as well. Because remember, we also saw the crab you know, climbing out of the waters and the waters could represent emotion. It could also represent intuition, you know, and the tides are influenced by the full moon. So maybe you live somewhere in a beach town almost. Maybe the tides have been kind of washing, you know, the shore really, really, you know, momentous energy. But I feel something is coming to light or someone is coming out of hiding and it, they've, they've meditated to get things straight. Like they've centered themselves, balanced themselves, and they're having the luminous moment of, you know, a revelation. And this has everything to do with family, home, hearth, you know, stability, partnership. We got radiant children playing, and this is called Poke Bowl. Again, someone could be from the UK, Britain. But this is also family, you know. This is telling me that there's a very... Solid, sacred, stable, supportive, successful, spiritual partnership that you're going to have with someone. Underneath that, we have judgment. Underneath that, we have the empress. So I love this. There's a message coming through also. There goes the three of wands. Remember, I was speaking to the three of wands earlier in traditional tarot, but this is their rendition. And then you can see all the bird activity. Katara, why? We, okay, I will open the door. She's like literally grabbing my sweater. So there's messages coming through. Maybe you've sent a kite to somebody, or, but someone's sending a message. There are two, three birds. 
So there's going to be three messages back and forth between you and another person. Maybe there's email correspondence, text correspondence, maybe on one of these social media platforms. But I do feel like something something is coming to light or someone's having an epiphany. I feel like this is what's catching your attention. But I also feel like, remember, Spirit told you to trust your intuition. With radiant children. Ooh, God damn it. Drop the phone. Good Lord. But yeah, some, you know, it's radiant. I just feel like... Um, you know, there's going to be some news that's going to make you feel really vibrant and excited, and, you know, perhaps even overjoyed. You know, something is going to just bring a little bit of excitement into um, your life. And this is, you know, that's what it is. And whenever the card that is on the box comes out, I feel like that is a very, um, you know, powerful testament um, and confirmation to what is uh, coming so the Empress energy, I picked up that Empress energy uh, earlier. You know, this is what I was showing you on the box. Um, and it, I love when what I, you know, the energy I pick up in the reading when it comes out, you know, uh, I mean, when I'm picking it up through channeling, it comes out in the reading. You know, that's just a beautiful confirmation. So I love that. So we're just going to clarify these messages again with the, I want to do the dark grimoire. I'm feeling dark grimoires. No, nope, no. Nope. Spirit said gold, said the gold card. So black and gold. We're going to do that. Thank you, spirit. Oh, shucky ducks. Now I see why. <laughs> Cha-ching. That's why. They was like, no, let's pull the... Because I was talking about them wish fulfillments and blessings and answered prayers from the star card. So I'm loving the way that looks. So if you are working or mastering some craft, honing a skill, if you're starting a business, Spirit is saying that it will be successful. There's going to be an offer. And this offer is coming because you're coming out of a tough cycle, out of a chapter that was really just about you learning in your journey. And the more you've learned, the more you've been able to start refocusing your energy on what you truly desire, you know, what your soul's purpose is, what your mission is here. So the more you learned, the more you were able to, you know, pass those tests and, and, and ultimately, you know, graduate to having a deeper, more profound understanding. And this here is your reward waiting for you, you know, after it all. So you have a beautiful reward that is waiting. And so with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, that's a tangible and we got Sade, your love is king. So someone could be coming in that you're going to feel like their love is, is it's, it's top tier. It's the best you've ever had. It, they speak your love language. Everything that you require, um, this person may just naturally do. So this is a beautiful connection. Um, we have the six of pentacles. So I see someone being very attentive, being very giving, thoughtful, you know, especially with that Ace of Pentacles, they're going to offer marriage and commitment. I'm gathering someone that is really serious. Like they know what they want. This is not a selfish person, a selfish individual either. Like they, they believe in, you know, um, almost spoiling their partners, you know, treating them like the, the queens or kings that they are. We have the knight uh, or the king, pardon me, of wands. So someone is, you know, also, you know, coming in very passionately this could be someone very attractive like a take action type of person i do see that you've moved away you've created boundaries you've you know set up a sanctuary or a safe space for yourself you know you're in a protective bubble you made a conscious decision to remove yourself from relationships that were toxic or murky situations where the communication was you know just constantly you know mixed and for that, for that effort of moving away, Spirit is offering you something. I also feel like for some of you, you're, you're going to trust your spirit and not accept an offer. You know, there may be an offer coming in from someone and you may very well turn that offer down because there's a better offer being made. But whatever is happening between you and another person, I see marriage. I see proposal. I'm hearing matrimony. I'm hearing wedding bells. You know, you and this person may sit around and watch like wedding movies. I'm seeing The Wedding Singer. Maybe that's one of your favorite comedies is The Wedding Singer. They have Billy Idol in there. <laughs> there goes The Tower I brought up several times. So you again are being rewarded. 
because you've wrapped up a cycle, you've completed a cycle, something's come full circle, had a completion of a karmic cycle, that, that tower that was destroyed, that's why you're being repaid, you're being rewarded, you're being recognized by spirit. So that's powerful. So let's tap in, let's clarify these messages, and then we're going to wrap it up. So your love is king, beloveds. This 1984, someone could have been born in the year 1984. That 1984 breaks down to 13. So again, transformations, changes, rebirth. You know, someone noticed your change or someone is changing because you changed. You may have triggered that and, and or inspired a change in another person. We have Renee and Angela. Someone's name could be Renee or Angela. And Renee, it could be a unisex name because the masculine in this group is Renee. And it says you don't have to cry. So whoever this is, um, someone is going to comfort another person and tell them you don't have to cry. Like, it's okay. Because someone is feeling very remorseful. I feel someone feels a lot of perhaps shame or they just feel very, you know, heavy. And someone is going to comfort another person. But be sure not to be manipulated emotionally because someone may just know that you're naturally caring and may try to, you know, do crocodile, crocodile tears to try to gain your, your, you know, sympathy. So just be mindful of that. Ace of Pentacles came back out. I can't make this up. I love this. So look at that. You watering, cultivating, nurturing, planting the seeds, staying focused, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. Just channeling your energy in the right direction. Look what happens. This is a harvest. This is carnucopia. This is your hard work paying off. This is the seeds that you sowed blossom, bloom, and they you have just abundance. You know, you are fruitful. And you're also being repaid because of all the blood, sweat, and tears. That's you growing personally, mentally, emotionally. That's graduating. You know, that's also just you, you know, having that victory, as I said earlier. You know, when you find that harmony, that emotional and spiritual equilibrium within the self, then you're able to navigate and take, dis, you know, take action because you've been able to meditate. So with you don't have to cry, we're about to pull the energy for who or what you're attracting to you. This is someone that could be very sad, very melancholy. Um, they could be going through their own tower. Remember the moon showcased two people. And this is falling on the 11, which is the same number that falls on for your person. Because I was saying the 11 is the two towers here. And there goes the tower. You know, in traditional tarot, there's also two towers. But this one just shows one tower. But it shows the king and the queen being thrusted out of the tower. So spirit is striking the tower because of the lies, the deceit. Look at all the darkness, the clouds. You know, so there is, you know, some truths that were exposed, but everything, you know, that was destroyed, you may have had to rebuild, or maybe this is what this person may have had to experience. And remember, we already know that there was a lot of other uh, variables, um, a lot of people that could have been in, you know, involved in this, you know, other entanglements, um, which could have led to you setting boundaries, protecting your energy. This person could have been fool, foolish. I'm hearing everybody plays the fool sometimes. No exceptions to the rules. That's what I'm feeling. It's like someone now feels foolish because, again, they have watched you like have some sort of success in your life, you know, and now they could be crying. You know, they could be crying because they're going through some sort of tower. And remember, we had the judgment, which means that, you know, someone's having a wake up call or someone's learning something. So why is the 22 intuition, the fool, the uh, 10 of cups, the eight of cups, um, the queen of swords, the three of pentacles here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. That one is also upright. Let me finish my shuffle. Come on. I don't want 50 billion cards. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want like 30 cards. So the Ace of Wands, remember I mentioned that. New beginnings, beloveds. A new beginning is coming. So who are what you're attracting to you? So the King of Pentacles. So this is someone that wants to offer something real, something tangible. That could be that same king. 
you know, that same energy. Remember, you got the night for how someone feels about you. So someone taking their time because they want to get it right because they know good things take time to create, beloved. So this is someone that is practical and devoted, someone that is grounded, someone that would be a good suit even for a uh, empress. You know, at least this is someone who is... Um, successful self-made they they're financially free we got the ten of pentacles so who or what you're attracting to you is stability because not only do you have the ten of pentacles but you also have the ten of cups so what did i say about a happy spouse happy house happily ever after emotional fulfillment financial fulfillment someone you can build with grow with you also got the ace of pentacles so you got a lot of you know energy of someone wanting to give someone wanting to show and prove with the Nine of Wands, this is defensive mode. So remember, someone kept getting reminded to surrender. And when you have been, you know, kind of mistreated and lied to in the past, look what you do. You, you Things become, you know, almost like... Um, it's, it's like very confusing to be able to discern what's real from fiction. You know, so someone has been mined up, someone's been duped, but they have set up their, you know, their guard to protect themselves. This is someone that's really got fight. They still got some fight left and they're mindful to protect their energy. So someone may have learned that some of their connections, friendships weren't as real or authentic as they may have initially um, thought they were. And maybe this is the way they were able to um, discern or, you know, make some sort of decision to come towards you. Because remember, we also saw that Ten of Wands earlier and then the Ten of Swords. So this could be that same person, um, very defensive and guarded and blocked. Uh, but that's a defense mechanism for them because I feel like after they got burnt, hurt, or some sort of karmic situation occurred in their life, this is what what their um, response was. And then we have the emperor. I mentioned the emperor came out. I mentioned the empress. It came out. I mentioned half of these cards. They came out. So this is what we have now is the emperor. So this is that divine masculine I was picking up. Because remember I said the number four deals with the emperor. I was also saying this is someone that goes after what they want. So even after all of this, um, this person has um, come into their own as well. This is someone that's reached their level of self-mastery. This is someone that is powerful in their own right. This is that suit that I was picking up. This is that yin-yang that I was picking up, that past life type of connection. This is someone you will have synergy and chemistry because the empress and the emperor, they both know their worth. They both know their value and they equally are successful and powerful on their own. But together they are a power couple. So this is a beautiful energy. This is someone very attracted to you. We're about to pull how they feel about you. And we have the three, which is the Empress energy. Uh, that's also the solar plexus. Maybe they're mustering up the strength, the courage, the wise dome. Maybe they're listening to the intuition. Um, and, you know, they, 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 they're coming slowly but surely. Um, they may see you as their ideal or as, you know, just a wish fulfillment, a blessing. Or maybe they can see you having some sort of success. Things are working out in your favor, your bliss. And they want to take action and offer you something tangible this is someone that has passion fire desire but this is also someone that sees you as a star sees you as you know maybe they're watching you as i said so let's tap in why is the three creativity knight of pentacles and the star here for how this person feels about our beloved scorpio whoa and these cards all flew out and we have the six of cups didn't i say someone from your past i'm gonna pull that for when we pull um who uh what's hidden in the energy so the fool came out yet again so they do feel foolish because they were treating you like an option maybe they were confused because they had other options we did see other people in you know the picture so there could have been a lot of confusion they got kind of like um gaslit themselves there is the hierophant that i mentioned so they do see that you are um very learned you could be wise spiritually wise you could be someone who is um a teacher you could be honing certain skills gifts and talents be very creative maybe you're in school or in class they have a very strong attraction or some sort of you know just thinking obsessively over you um very addicted you know and and this could be someone that you were intimate with in the past or maybe this is someone who daydreams um self pleasures but there is a very strong sexual passion desire and attraction towards you i also feel this person is um someone that you could be could have worked with before 
Uh, maybe there was, you know, y'all would connect and hang out at night after work. Maybe y'all would, you know, drink, smoke, party, go to the club, go to, you know, lounges, play bowling. Like you did little things together or hung out together at nighttime. And I feel like, you know, we already know nighttime is demon time. So I do feel like y'all may have, pre you know, maybe had some sort of soul tie or there was some sort of karmic tie connection um, with this person. That's how they feel. They're very obsessed or fixated um, on you. Uh, the other cards we have is the Seven of Pentacles. So they're feeling very like downtrodden about this situation, almost, you know, kind of like hoping, maybe hopeful that things could turn around. They have a lot of regrets. You know, this is that person again that's seeking your forgiveness, but they are having a difficult time resting at night, feeling a lot of regret. I was picking up someone with regret, remorse, and there we have it. There goes the Ten of Swords yet again. So this is someone that knows they backstabbed you and betrayed you, and they've watched you transform. You've recovered you've healed you're living your best life and this person has a lot of regrets because now a guilty conscience is what they're struggling with and they really deeply deep down inside wants to want to offer you something but they are you know dealing with fears you know they are having these false narratives um they're waking up in cold sweats waking up from nightmares this is someone that damn sure feels like dang why did i betray my Scorpio like that? Why did I hurt my Scorpio like that? And they see that you, you know, the clouds are dissipating. You see the forest from the trees. You know who your haters are. You know who your enemies are. And you're going to come from this situation sharper and wiser. Hence you being in the Queen of Swords type of energy. The last card we have here is the Five of Swords. So there is regrets. This person has regrets because as you can see, this person is holding the three swords that I mentioned earlier, you know, for you to get to the self mastery, the empress, you had to go through the three of swords energy. That is a given. You have to have some loss, some pain, some trauma that you've had to heal. Hence the healing coming out, you know, and the healing has revealed your truth. You know, it's helped to build your character. You know, it's helped to, you know, um, devise your story if you will so this right here the five of swords this is what this person is thinking about this is what they're struggling with is a guilty conscience you walked away what did i say you walked away yes it was disappointing it was hurtful but you definitely you know you regrouped and you focused on your recovery you focused on your growth you focused on the solution and not on the situation you you chose yourself and we have india Irie yet again and this is that magic so this person definitely sees you as someone very magical, mystical, uh, someone who's very mysterious even. We're about to pull the card for what's hidden. And we have the moon. And the moon is also a very mysterious energy. Um, it does deal with intuition, as I said, and, and emotion, deep emotions. Because you think of the ocean, um, which is, um, which is uh, you know, influenced by the moon, you know, the, when we speak of the tides, so the, the ocean, it runs deep, you know, there's so many, so much life that has yet to be discovered. So when you think of the ocean, this is someone who feels deeply, feels deeply connected, you know, um, someone who could also be trying to, um, engage in a little bit of, uh, magic to manifest you back. Maybe they're working with this full moon. Maybe you are doing some full moon uh, manifestations or rituals. Um, someone from the past will come back. This is the person that was flighty, non-committal, but there is an offer of love. This will be shocking. This will be amazing. Um, whoever this person is, you can see they were stuck at a fork in the road and now they want to return. But I also see with the Knight of Wands, that was that same person that was playing hard to get or trying to um, treat you like an option, just very non-committal and un, you know, someone you couldn't rely upon. So why is the 11 individuality in the moon here for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. What did I say about the confusion, trying to make a decision stuck in two minds? This is that fork in the road. They are struggling. They are struggling to make a decision or to take action. But the things that they're feeling is starting to surface. They cannot continue to suppress and, you know, deny feelings when they know they're there. And we have Erica Badu, 
didn't you know? Someone's name could be Erica. Someone could be from Texas yet again. But this person with didn't you know, it's like that this is the confusion. The, the, the two of swords is telling me there's going to be some sort of epiphany because the moon is the intuition. So this person is trusting their intuition. And with didn't you know, these are questions that perhaps their higher self is going to be asking. Because they are tapping into their divine mind, especially when there's blindfold. So they're using their first eye to see. So with didn't you know, they're being questioned. Didn't you know? So this is that meditative state to get it straight. This is in relation to someone from the past. So someone that feels very strong connection so much so that they want to return. So why is the 74 nature, 66 healing, the sun, and the four of cups here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. So someone is going to say something perhaps that another person didn't know. And they're going to say, didn't you know? Someone's going to learn something they weren't privy to. And this is going to be shocking to the person that assumed that other person knew. Perhaps maybe they're going to be like, you didn't know I love you or you didn't know I felt that way. And you're going to be like, no, how am I supposed to know? When, when, when did you show me? I got mixed signals, beloved. Like, what are you talking about? So they're like, didn't you know? And there goes the death card. Mention that as well. Transformation, confirmation of the rebirth, start of metamorphosis, the transformative energy that's ushering in, the changes. Someone feeling this missed opportunity because look what happened. It's like, you know, you could have been offering love. You could have been very much... Um, just show, you know, showing someone, you know, through your actions, how you felt about them. And they just kind of shunned you because they had all these other options. They were distracted by these other options. And after you leave, this is when they realize like, God damn, like, dang, I missed an opportunity because now they're watching you go through yet another transformative period. And you didn't come out of this feeling like that. You're in your power. You're standing upright, your body language is strong, and you're moving on. You're not, like, feeling any type of way. And look what's right underneath that, and look what's underneath that. All the cards I mentioned, the Empress, see that? So this person sees you in your power. Regal, royal, powerful, this is what they see when they see you. And there goes the angel in see, overseeing that. So this could be that sacred union, spiritual union, that twin flame, yin yang, divine counterpart type of dynamic. Remember, I said your angels were aligning you with someone. And there could be an exciting message. You know, this could even be an apology, perhaps. But there's definitely someone kind of contemplating and thinking about how to go about offering something. But there is this, you know, feeling of regret. You know, almost pouting, you know, because I was getting someone who was just like having all these boundaries and they they like rightfully they, they weren't even in the right to have boundaries because they was the one the one doing the wrong. So this could be someone like I, I just get like remember I was picking up like an attention whore almost someone like just begging for attention and you're starving them of your attention. You're not giving anyone attention. You busy over here manifesting, you know, creating new pathways, new portals new ways of being, new streams of income, new health and wellness, and the Wheel of Fortune, another card I mentioned, and this is why. You manifested some sort of fortune, fame, success, the wheels turning in your favor. Whatever you prayed for, asked for, it's coming in. Spirit is saying that that wish is coming true. This is destined for you. This is destined, beloved. This is destined. This is beautiful. Y'all manifested something. You have the emperor. You have... The sun, the moon, the stars, the wheel, the magician. You have so many major arcanas. You have the devil. You have the hierophant. The fool. You know what I'm talking about? The sun. I said that already. And you also have... I want to make sure there's nothing hiding. Yeah, the fool came out twice. Yeah, this is beautiful, beloveds. Got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Like this, it, it doesn't get any better than this. But for this, this is confirming. The wheel is turning in your favor. Something beautiful is coming in. And this is because of your hard work. Whatever was stagnant, whatever was stuck, it was because you had to learn the lessons. And when you learn the lesson, now the wheel can turn. And now the blessings can pour in. And this is everything that you've manifested, spoken to the ethers, called in, asked for. This is all a matter of you 
you know, speaking it into the ethers, utilizing those elements of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. And this is what's uh, coming to you in real time. So your transformation is garnering abundance, prosperity, financial freedom, <laughs> success, happiness, love is coming in. You got people from the past wanting to pull up. You got people new that's watching and interested. And it's because you got the empress energy and you have the emperor energy. You attract what you are, you know. You attract what you are, and you're also going to have a couple of hang haters and stragglers. But this is beautiful energy, Scorpios. I hope this message resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe, yo. Peace, power, and protection.